Alright, welcome to the Bugatti Bolidi Aguili Blue. I'm not going to pretend like I said all that right, but welcome to this. And yeah, I'm excited for this because I'm really hoping that this has the same experience as the really big sports cars do in a smaller and, well, cheaper package because, uh, yeah, that's necessary at this point. It is, yeah, Lego's getting expensive, let's not lie, and anything that can be done on a similar scale as the big ones and give me a similar experience, I am willing to accept and try. So let's see what they have to offer. And with that, I am sure you know how the buttons work down there by now, so do click them as you please. Let's get to the speed build and then my thoughts. Here we go. Alright, it is done. So, just real quick, these are the lovely extra pieces if you're curious. Um, pretty sure I have too many of these, but uh, the little Technic pins, but mm, I also might not, who knows. <laughs> but yeah, with that, this thing, um, pretty freaking solid actually. In the literal sense that you could probably throw this against the wall and it'd be fine, just like so. Um, yeah, and of course I really like the little engine thing going on there. Uh, I do wish that you could kind of actually get in there a little bit more than just being, you know, able to lift these flaps up. I wish you could lift them up sort of all the way like you can with the, uh, the front part there. But, I don't know, I mean, I still, I think it's really cool that the pistons are, are able to be spinning in there, and I think that's a really nice little, little touch. And it even has the right amount of pistons, I guess, technically, so. Yeah, and then of course you got your doors that open up butterfly style. Um, and the inside, nothing too crazy, honestly. I think they could have put more brick built stuff in there, a little bit more combination of the brick built stuff, at least for the interior. Uh, because that, it's kind of, it feels very bone <laughs> dry. Like, there, there should be stuff there, like, in to not be able to see outside of the car, but. I get it, it's Technic, like, it's supposed to be somewhat hollow. And on that note, I will say, the front part of this car is very hollow. Um, I feel like there should have been something in here, and it would have looked amazing, honestly. Um, not even an engine, just a, just a trunk, kind of alluding to a trunk even, a front trunk, I guess. Uh, but no, it's just this hollow thing you can see right through, even with the, the thing closed, I mean. Pretty obvious you can see through that part of the car, and then not really any of the back part. It's just this front part. Um, so I will say that, but honestly, overall, looks really good. This looks like a sports car. Um, I will say it does look better in person when you can really just get your hands on it and get a feel for how the scale is and everything like that. Um, so yeah, very honestly impressive build. I, I think I'm a little more impressed with it than I thought it would be. And, uh, yeah, it's fun. I mean, you got this little hand of God steering, as it were. And, uh... Ooh, doesn't like going backwards. Uh, okay. Ooh, okay. Noted. Is there... There isn't a... There is no gear changing in this, as far as I'm aware. It just doesn't... Doesn't like going backwards. I think it's probably just how these little pistons are set up, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, that... Ooh, did I build something wrong? I can't, possibly. Because it works fine going forward, there's no... I mean, there's a little bit of that clacking, but I, I can tell that's just because of the... 
gears in here. Hitting this, the pistons weird. Um, I don't know, a little bit weird on that one, I will say. Uh, but yeah, honestly, kind of excited to be able to go put this next to the big boy and see what it looks like because that really is what I am looking forward to. And you can just, you know, kind of actually afford this one a little bit more so than the bigger version of this, of course. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, that, that alone makes this worth it and it still has enough of the features. Obviously not everything that the big one has, but I'm willing to forgive that for the scale. And uh, yeah, I'm happy that there is at least some stuff to do with this and it's, it's pretty playable and it's very durable. So yeah, with that, I would have to say I would recommend this set, but if you haven't built any Technic sets ever, I wouldn't start with this one. Uh, that much I will say because it is not the pinnacle of what Technic can be. It is just a pretty good Technic set. Um, so yeah, with that, I am sure you know how the buttons work down there by now, so do click them as you please. And yeah, if you guys have anything you want me to know about this that I didn't mention or anything you think about this that I didn't mention, let me know down below. Always happy to hear them. And yeah, with that, thanks again for watching. Mr. Iota Panda, out.